Hello everyone, my name is Mitz, and here we are back at Higurashi when they cry. So I think we're like partly like halfway through the game, if what I heard about this chapter, like this whole chapter of the game, uh, kind of Kashu, she like, I, I can't remember the top of my head, it's like 12 hours long, and we got passed through half of it, and that whole ending indicator of Lily going through the whole ritual rite of the Wancha Kanashi Festival with a Akan, it feels like that's actually a perfect, like, segue, I guess, going more down the creepiness factor, like, mostly just setting things up for, like, six hours straight and all that. I doubt it, like, unless this whole chat is really just all about just, like, getting more into the headspace of it while I'm, uh, it, like, leave, like, cliffhangs at the end of, for, like, the whole murder happening, whatever, like that. I'm just trying to think, like, it definitely has to be, like one of the main characters who like you know kills like Rika-chan but like now I'm just thinking in terms of like I'm uh exactly if it was like as I'm uh, maybe brought up here like I'm a cursed or literally I'm uh, there's an actual motive behind it all because even re-watching the very beginning of like the whole big scene doesn't lead too much more but I got confused a tiny bit since it seemed like it was going at least to the killer's perspective because that line about I loved how demure you were it feels like that only went to Rika but the only other thing I can think of is like Rina but I don't know if that'd be exactly to her though unless she really is a killer but I'm still kind of leaning towards it to Satoko because of how like close they were and almost how invisible that was especially since Rika's whole personality is being in, uh, in the background and actually just like I'll commend that like since this is supposed to be a psychological horror game or something like that if everyone knew going into this her character being Lilium uh and almost like a uh, like a background presence actually kind of gives her a bit of thing where you actually try to focus in on her but if you like realize like ahead of time that she's gonna die just in the beginning thing it's actually kind of cool like writing design wise structurally that's kind of cool mm. okay while staring off into the stream, I somehow got separated from Rena. I wasn't very lonely, though. I know, this, I know this place now. This is where I live. My home. Yeah, like the whole, like, ending festival thing, like, kind of cemented that fact. It was a nice sentiment. It's probably better if I just stay here instead of wandering around aimlessly. Someone would surely find me while I was enjoying the evening breeze. I heard a familiar voice. It was Tomatake-san's. I head towards it. Hmm. How'd it go, Tomatake-san? Were you able to get some good shots? Yeah, fortunately. Tomatake-san was with a girl. I felt a little like I was intruding. Oh, okay. Oh, you have a, have a sprite. Okay. Huh. How was it, Keichi-kun? Okay, so you're important. Uh, what's your name? <laughs> Did you enjoy the festival? From the way she spoke, it seemed like she was a resident of Hinamazawa. I really should try harder to remember people's faces here. <laughs> Literally, is that your reasoning? Just like I'm, uh, we're passing by so many residents, like I'm, uh, head down, like, oh yeah, but uh, hey, uh, I'm with my friends only. I, I only remember them. <laughs> that's, 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 that's like a, probably almost like a jab to like, I'm, uh, there's not a lot of sprites, <laughs> at least back then. <laughs> I just thought it's funny to me. What was her name? Well, um, it was fun. My face must have given away how desperately I was trying to remember her name, because she gave a light hard chuckle. Look, you, you like to- you can manipulate people easily, but at the same time people can read you easily. Curb that habit. It's probably because it hasn't been- been long since you moved here. It's pretty hard to believe seeing a friendly gun with the other kids. And that's how it looked. It was probably all thanks to Rena and Mion. Hmm. Perhaps you feel more like a resident in Mizawa after taking part in the festival today. Stop reading my mind! Hmm, I wonder about that. I'm still a stranger. Oh, that's not like you. I had tried to get used to Hin Mizawa. Are you now, like, thinking, like, now that you're changing your mind about it now? But there are still plenty of things I didn't know. Oh, you're still like that. Like, you feel at home at the same time. You don't feel exactly too much at ease, that feeling. Or are you feeling emotional because of the ritual? I certainly was. The face of people I met, for example. Things that have happened in the past as well. Oh. 
you're feeling left out because something like that. It's not so much as feeling left out. It just... I'm not sure how to say it. That incident at the Darren construction site. Are you actually going to bring it up with him now? Yes, 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 please. The fighting over it and other conflicts. That terrible incident they pretended they didn't even know about whenever I brought it up. Even though it was in the past, as someone living in Hinamazawa now, it wasn't wrong to want to know about both the good and bad that happened here. Yeah. If it will put you at ease, then I'll tell you everything I know. Tomotake-san's smile made me more relieved than I've ever been. It was hard to think of what to ask when someone said, ask me anything, though. Even when there was so much I wanted to ask, especially with someone right there. Do they even want to hear about this? Maybe. <laughs> Probably not. Then, could you tell me about what happened when the dam was being constructed? There was a big incident where Hinmazawa was going to be submerged, right? Okay, that's a lot roundabout way to go for it. I think the locals would be more knowledgeable about the dam than I am. Well, then turn your head over that way. <laughs> well, if you don't mind, I'll tell you what I know. It's only that I want to run a newspaper, though. Tomatake's eyes entered an unfocused gaze as he searched through his memory. Then he spoke. Oh, flashback. The decision to start the dam project was finalized seven or eight years ago. I heard it was the next largest project after the one in Kurobe. Hmm. There were three major issues in Japan at that time. Improving inter-island transportation infrastructure, meaning the higher demand for electricity, and flood control. There was a boom of dam building due to the massive economic stimulus they were provided, on top of generating electricity and flood control. Hinamazawa had the right conditions to support dam construction, so it was signaled out. Hmm. The dam reservoir would have covered quite a lot of ground when it was completed. Oh, it was like... Was it actually like making the dam reservoir would actually went over the town itself? Or like, making the dam would like, reroute the water to submerge everything? I'm getting mixed signals. Hmm. The entire area right up to Yaguchi, way upstream, would be underwater. Oh, okay, so rerouting, I can't mind. But, why do they have to pick a populated area like Kinemazawa? Couldn't they have picked a place where nobody lived? Hmm, I'm not really sure why, but I heard that it was just the right terrain for building a dam. Oh. Well, it's gonna take too long to, like, move, like, move and structure dirt and all that, like, later, like, way upstream? Hmm. Of course, there were protests here in Hinamazawa. Rikachan had said that they had fought. From the choice of words, I had to guess things had turned violent. <laughs> there was a trial, and it was even brought up before the National Diet. It was covered in the Tokyo newspapers, too. Hmm. Miana told me all about that as well. I'm sure every resident of Hinamazawa had united to fight together. Yep, the unity theming. The feeling of solidarity found here, which could not be expressed properly with mere words, was likely brought about by that battle. Hmm. As a result, bribery and scandals were brought to light. As things got more and more complicated, they eventually halted construction. Hmm. Scandals. If one to know, now is my only chance to ask. A certainly bizarre incident that boys my age would be curious about. I feel ashamed for the fact I was petty enough to have my curiosity piqued by Rina and Mian's refusal to talk about the event. No, that would just make me even double down even harder. Don't worry about it. I figured I might as well ask since I had the chance, just so I would stop thinking about it so much. So, there was a dismemberment, right? There was. I happened to be here in Nimbus all the time. Oh my god, really? So I remember it well. Tomotake-san's answer was nonchalant in contrast to my hesitantly forced out question. It was about this time. Four years ago. Oh, it was recent. I thought the dam construction happened all those years ago. Like, decades ago, actually. Like, huh. Hmm. It was the day that wanted a Ganashi, if I recall correctly. Oh, of course, that makes that kind of makes it even more fitting. Wait, the curse thing is coming to play, and oh god, if it's going down that route, then I'm uh, hey Keiichi, uh, you didn't you didn't say thank you Oyashiro, like you didn't say it three times, you only said it twice, and you just said his name three times. Ugh. you're cursed. Hmm. I hear that ominous music slowly trickling up in the background. You don't think you can get past me? Debate on whether to continue construction of the dam was in disarray. Scandal to scandal rocked the product near the end. Hmm. 
The incident that was the final nail in the coffin for the dam project. A fight at the dam construction site ended in the victim being murdered. Fearing prosecution, the six assailants divided the remains into six pieces and each hid one. Yeah, okay, so all the test screens are going together to, like, make this. Hmm. All the nuances will be, like, will be more the tips, and this is just a general overview of it. Hmm. Five of the six criminals turned themselves in out of guilt, but one was still on the run. The right arm he hidden had yet to be found. The major details lined up with what was in the tabloid I read earlier. It certainly was a tragic incident, but it wasn't so terrible that Rena and Mia needed to hide it from me. Hmm. I guess they didn't want someone who just moved here to have a negative impression of Hinamazawa. That, or like... Well, like, Rina, like, said so she came, like, last year, so, like, did she even hear about it at all? And I don't know if Mia lived her all her life, or she's another transfer student, so... Hmm. Hmm. I feel grateful for having friends who worried so much about me, as well as shame for still being so invest interested in it. Invested. It was near the end of all the trouble with the dam, you see. So everyone was saying that it was Oyashiro-sama's curse. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's bringing it up, okay. Oyashiro-sama's curse, huh? Oyashiro-sama was the name of the god the shrine that held the festival today, if I recall correctly. Yeah, it's not like he said he didn't say their name like three times in a row. I see. Their guardian deity rained divine punishment down that evil dam construction for trying to flood Hinamizawa. So the deity um, uh, possessed six people to kill the dam overseer. To make an inner conflict. Wow, that's not terrifying at all. My god. Uh. Apparently younger ones didn't think so. Why are we having a CG of this? But it seems the elderly in the village never doubted it that it was Jiro-sama's curse. The woman with Tomotaki-san chuckled mischievously. Hmm. Tomotaki-san began laughing with her. It was so infectious I ended up laughing as well. But... I wonder about that now. There are quite a few, I think. Amongst the youth, too. A few what? People who believe. In Yashiro Sama's curse. The one's lips were still curled into a smile. Her expression still turned stern. A minute of that, you're just trying to traumatize a little kid here now. It continued every year. Always around this time. Oh. Continued? What continued? Tomotaki-san paused for a second, as the build-up seemed to suspense. Then he whispered to me, as if someone might have been listening. Every year, on the day of the one to Ganashi, somebody dies. The year following this dismemberment, the day of the one to Ganashi, a man from Hinamizawa who had supported the dam fell off a cliff overlooking some rapids and died while he was on vacation. Speaking of his wife, unfortunately, her body was never recovered. Wait, what? Wife just went missing? He supported the dam construction even though he lived in Himizawa. At the time, there were whispers amongst the elderly saying it was Oyashiro-sama's curse. That or it's just a targeted murder by residents. The woman chuckled mischievously again. Then the next year, the night of the one to Ganashi, the shrine's Shinto priest died suddenly from an unknown illness. Hmm. His wife drowned herself in that bog that night. Okay. The shrine's Shinto priest? You mean he was from the shrine here? The woman nodded. There was a rumor amongst the villagers that they weren't able to quell Oyashiro-sama's anger. And the year after that, again the night of the one to Ganashi, they discovered the battered body of a local housewife. Okay. Housewife. Up until now, all these mysterious deaths were people involved with the dam or were connections to Oyashiro-sama. Like, why would, like, attack, I guess, like, priests, like, I guess, trying to worship you as a deity? If we're going to fold down the curse idea. Hmm. With that in mind, what could the housewife have been involved in some way, too? Exactly. Bowen stated slightly. Knows more menacingly. The victim's family, you see, happened to be that of the younger brother, the dam supporter who fell to his death two years before. The younger brother is still alive, it seems. It did bother him quite a bit, 
So you move to the neighboring town. Oh. So anyone who supports the construction project or like is a deity, like related at, at all, is gonna be cursed. Okay. For a while, I stood there with my mouth agape. The battle over the dam construction with Himazawa's future at stake, and the murder at the center of it all. That was all I knew, and that was all I wanted to ask about. But that wasn't all there was to the story. Homicide, body disposal, accidental deaths, terminal illness, suicide, fatal beatings. I'm a pretty level-headed person. I don't really want to believe in curses. The freakish deaths happened every year on the day of the Wanta Kanashi, and all of them were related to the dam construction? It was easy to dismiss each of them as coincidences by themselves, but when you put them all together, dismiss them, dismissing all of them as coincidence would then defy logic. I don't believe in curses, but every single year on the day of the Wanta Kanashi, somebody or something makes it happen without fail. The one chuckled again as he picked up what I was thinking. This is actually, huh, that's really, hmm, that's actually th interesting to think about. Hmm. Don't know how, like, hmm. I'm trying to think, like, outside of a curse, but, like, we don't know anything about those victims per se, so, like, was there a reason for all of them to be gone? If they're all connected to the dam construction project, like, it's, like, some people like targeting them in the, the town it's like an open uh, like maybe an open secret if everyone is like combined together to like kill them off especially they didn't mention it but like the person who was related to the dam supporter did they were, were they supportive of it or just like i'm uh hmm they drive people out like a weird i guess like cult type ideology i just like i'm uh either be with us or I'm a, you're against us type deal. Hmm. It felt like she was saying, maybe there was, maybe we frightened him, stuff like that. I felt embarrassed at being read so easily. I pressed Tomotaki-san to continue, a bit of impatience and irritation in my tone. Then? So someone died the next year, right? Who was at that time? I wonder. Who do you think, Heiji-kun? The, the hell? The way you said it didn't agree with me. There's a sarcastic tone ticking me off. Don't know for the question. I'm serious here. Hey, hey, calm down, Heiji-kun. I realize once you try to calm me down that I've been panicking. Hmm. We aren't trying to avoid the question, Heiji-kun. It just... When you say the next year, that's... Yeah, it's here. I'm, uh... Where's Rika? <laughs> That's today. When Tomotaki-san hesitated to say it, she finished for him. I broke into a cold sweat. I really didn't like the direction this was headed. Yeah, from the sound of it, like, it's, like, they're really just regaling into, like, either both of you are, like, really into, like, you know, more dark and morbid stories, or literally, you're kind of all glad that all those, all four people have died so far. I'm getting those weird vibes from you, lady. Tomotaki seems like a uh, person just like loves like listening to morbid stories though. That's what it seems like. It seems casually bringing it up all that though. Nobody wants to speak of it, but they all think it's going to happen again tonight. The festival is so cheerful though. Well, the victim last year, the housewife, she was a non-believer. The... It turns out she didn't even attend the one to the Ganashi festival. Oh, so it's either a damn construction project, you sympathize with it, or you don't believe in the Oyashiro-sama. Hey, um, uh, you didn't say, didn't do the, the ritual properly, Keiichi. Uh, maybe you're, you're probably not gonna die and all that, but, um, uh... Maybe you shouldn't stay here in this town for next year? Maybe? Maybe so? <laughs> there was a rumor going around that if you didn't participate in the festival, you would incur Oyashiro-sama's wrath. Can you hear anything about this, Keiji-kun? I never even heard her whisper that rumor. Then, the reason everyone was at the festival was... They were afraid of the curse? I figured that must have been the reason. There were a lot of more people at the one at Ganashi than usual. I guess everyone was... Just afraid, after all. 
Oh, yo oh yeah, Shiro-sama's curse. I couldn't utter a single word. Woo! Murder, death, curses. In this modern age, I can't believe it. People still die. Where we've made progress in all scientific fields, shedding light on the unknown that misunderstood. This is 1980s, like, <laughs> well, we're still, we're still learning things, okay? There's still unexplained phenomena and all that, okay? All that. It's, it's gonna be like, I wonder if there's anything happening ha that's actually found for like the 21st century here. Everything I heard about, like, urban legends, stuff like that. Like more mystical happenings stuff like that is always like in older time, which most likely just because we didn't have a way to detect or like find a scientific explanation for it. Was there anything like that happening in the 21st century? I'm really intrigued. That was my whole thing, childhood, just some uh, learning of like all the UFOs and the Bermuda Triangle and the Sasquatches and the cryptids and all that. That was like I'm uh, first quote unquote sighted and like you know rec recorded and all that like all those years ago. Hmm. Where black and white television has been eradicated and we sent men to the moon. Even with all our accomplishments, this can exist in modern society? Tons of invitations were sent out to neighboring towns youth groups to help pad the numbers. For the festival? By that string of events, few decide to join. Municipal committee members are complaining about how hard it was to gather participants. Also, the police are treating each case as isolated. They don't believe they're connected. Apparently, they sent quite a few plain clothes officers for security. Hmm. It finally began to dawn on me why Rina and Mia were reluctant to talk. If nothing happened during this one to Ganashi, everything would have been over with and I'd be none the wiser. If nothing happened, all would be well. In that case, it would all end up being just crazy talk. <sighs> I should have just pretended like I knew nothing from the beginning. Then he wouldn't have had to act like nothing happened. And we would have all gone back to life as usual. Well, someone like this didn't tell you, and you didn't know, and you wouldn't know anything about it. It'd be like regular life as usual. You never even heard a lick of it. But yeah, yeah. At the same time, it's like honestly, like that kind of lie is kind of nice, but like it relies on like something like you think is not going to happen in the future. Yeah, I actually kind of agree with that lie a bit, like and all of that. But like if a murder definitely happened or some other a death happened, um, uh, you definitely have to talk to you know your new arrival or you know new transfer student arrival friend about this, you know, just to let you know about that ahead of time. Let you think like, oh no, Keiichi, there's no curse and all that. This is just a, um, uh, this is just a normal everyday murder every day. No, not every day, every year, every year. Shit. <laughs> Maybe it was just too much for him after all. Moon ran her fingers through her hair as she sighed. No, it wasn't. Not at all. I had tried to act strong. I just started to emphasize how much the information has unsettled me. And just seeing how I looked, tomotake san appeared to be to regret saying anything. Letting out a sigh, he then spoke, forcing an awkward, upbeat demeanor. Hey, Keiji-kun, surely you don't believe in such things as curses. Well, no. If the causes of all those crimes were unknown, with the perpetrators and their methods all mysteri mysteries, mysterious mysteries, then I can see the possibility of a curse. Hmm. Well, that's not how things are in reality. Police investigations have already uncovered the truth and perpetrators for all the cases. Hearing him say police made me feel a lot better. Hmm. <laughs> Just like this weird thing of like every killer or like every death that happens in this town all have to coincidentally be on the Watakanashi Festival. Like, it's just tradition by this point. If I'm gonna murder someone, then might as well do it on this day. <laughs> like, any other day. <sighs> no, there's no style in that. No dramatics. <laughs> My first thought, jeez. It was perfect for rebelling the word curse. The first one, the dismemberment, for example. I told you, didn't I? Uh, only five of those people were all captured, though. It's not like the, like the case entirely closed. And, like, I guess in the case of, like, a uh, mysterious death of, like, someone falling ill... Unless you found out, like, what disease he had, or, like, if he was, like, poisoned, or, like, some secret poisons type deal, if, like, it was untraceable or stuff like that, then, like, you don't know how the priest died, then it's still kind of left in the open then, right? The housewife, don't know if you found the, the crime for the culprit for that. You didn't even find the housewife, the, the, the damn supporters, like, you know, 
the wife's body, so like nothing is exactly closed. You're just doing false positivity. Okay. All but one of the perpetrators were arrested. Yeah, you're trying to do with the whole majority thing, okay. It's only a matter of time for the last one. It's been four years. The motive turned out to be been an argument they had while intoxicated. That's no curse. Don't you agree? That was true. If it didn't happen the day they wanted to Ganashi, then I wouldn't think it was related to the curse at all. The accidental deaths of the couple who supported the dam is the same. Do they, like, hmm, do they, like, huh? I misheard that, but, like, did they die here? Like, I heard something about them being on vacation and dying. So, like, huh. Does, like, do people die in this town? Or, like, people who live in this town have some connection with the town, then die the same day? Hmm, no matter where they are. Huh. He was in a position that made others hate him. The police made a point of investigating that from that angle. They concluded it was an accident. Not foul play. But they both happened the day of the festival, right? <laughs> Just think about it, Keiichi. Do you think people with a lot of enemies here in Himazo would could participate easily in a local festival? Hmm. Wear a mask. It would be especially hard for them to be around during the Wantaganashi. So if you basically are repelled from the whole society, that means that I'm uh, the curse is gonna get you. I f the feeling of the unity theme feels like it's coming up again now. So they probably left Hinamazawa intentionally around this time of year to travel, don't you think? It wasn't a very clear explanation, but I, I sort of understood what tomotaki was getting at. So I pressed on earnestly, asking more questions so that I could convince myself. Then, tomotaki san what about the priest who died after that? The one with the unknown illness. That also happened the day of the festival. It's even easier to explain what happened to the Shinto priest. Shinto priest, sorry. The Wantaganashi is really a big event that happens once a year. It was probably from all the build-up stress. An unknown illness? Or it may have been because of a pre-existing condition. But it was an unknown illness. It's hard to believe such a thing could exist with all our advances in medicine. It's just an exaggeration. Then why say it like that? Rumors making rumors, so why say it like that? Anyone would get work up over having instances happen two years in a row. The sudden death is quite unnatural, though. Of course, the police ordered an autopsy because of the strange way he died. But there was enough for them to open a full investigation, you know? Turns out, just a sudden death due to illness, but not the kind of illness. The priest's wife committed suicide, correct? What about that? I believe I explained that. Everyone was shaken up by the incidents happening for a third year. Those who are of strong faith were quick to believe it was the work of the curse. Yeah, I can kind of believe that. Of course, that include the priest's wife. Apparently, they found a suicide note that said something like, My death will quell Oyashiro-sama's anger. Well then, how about the next incident with the housewife? That happened on the day of the Wantakanashi too. The perpetrator has already been caught and the case has been closed. Turns out it was just some nut job trying to continue the legacy of the Hinamazawa curse. You know, I was, I was actually completely thinking that was going to happen. <laughs> then, then what about that, what about that incident that next year? Oh, uh, oh yeah, this year is the next year. You're just trying to invite it for it to happen, Keiichi. Tomotaki-san gave a hearty laugh. Nothing will happen. Not this year. There was never a curse to begin with. Just a group of people believed it was the explanation for a string of coincidences. My internal computer finally got itself back on track. Oh dang, you had a virus this whole time. Purge it. I felt a bit embarrassed by how childish I'd become to losing control and panicking. Hmm. I can see very clearly now that Keiichi Kun really does love Hinamazawa. You know, Osh Oyashiro Sama's curse actually did exist. I can't imagine that Keiichi Kun would become a target. He didn't say the third thing, you though. I felt very relieved. I should probably just forget everything I heard tonight. So that means, based on the, how this sounds, right, even if you're like the most, the most, most team player in this town, Himazawa, but if you don't believe in the god, but like, you know, still, like, you know, um, uh, like, you follow along with every single ritual and all that, does that mean you're still gonna be targeted, though? Like, in words and all that, but not spirit? <laughs> If you believe, if you do everything right, but don't have the spirit for it, does that mean you're gonna get targeted? 
That's a thought. I'll greet Rena and Mian tomorrow with the same smile as always. They'd probably also like tonight to end with that incident so they can continue on tomorrow without having worried about me. Perhaps he might change an attitude. The one who had been listening in stretches she got up from the rock she was sitting on. Hmm, that's another thing. Like, if if Rena like and Mian definitely know about the whole murder incident thing and the curse, like they either they must not believe it, or they're trying their best to like not freak Keiichi out to the point that I'm uh, they can't just let him alone. It's a bit eh. Well then, I should be getting back. Oh goodness, I, I think I may have gone on a bit too long. There were so few people compared to the crowd from before. I can only make out a few groups of families enjoying the cool evening air. I looked at my watch. He seemed like we talked for the better part of an hour. Didn't you come along with your friends, Keiichi Kun? Not going to look for them? Oh, yeah! They might all be looking for me. <laughs> You're quite the scoundrel making the girls look for you. Yeah, yeah, let's wipe it off. See you, Keiichi Kun. Have a nice night. You too, Jiro. Jiro-san, I'll see you a bit later. Oh, that's your name, okay. Tomotake-san seems to be quite the scoundrel himself. So his name is Jiro. After dusting off her backside, she disappeared into the crowd of people still busy cleaning up the shrine grounds, and we never learned her name, and she's never going to be an important character to, to see her again, even though she's a sprite of that. Well, it's not exactly possible. Like I've seen other visual novels where, like, they gave like one character who like was li only for that scene a part of it, but they never get brought up ever again. Not even passing a reference. They're just there for no reason. Yeah. Keiichi Kun. Okay, there you are, Rena. You left me behind the riverside. I almost died. I almost drowned. <laughs> so sorry. In her place, Rena came running over. I can see all the others behind her. You gathered up the group! Nice! Hey, Rika, are you here? Are you fine? Speak of the devil. She's a devil. <laughs> oh, my bad, Kei-chan. We got so caught up in a discussion. About what? About frogs? I completely forgot about them while caught up in my own conversation, so we were even. Well, there you are. My, so Tomitake-san so Tom was with you. This works out perfectly. What are you gonna do with him? We still need to settle the shooting gallery competition. Oh yeah, you didn't fight at all though, but didn't... Didn't Keiichi win though? Ah, oh, that's right! So I guess I'm gonna... I'm gonna end up dead last? But, Rika, you didn't shoot at all though. Okay. In the end, after my dramatic victory, Riko-chan was the last challenger, but there weren't many targets left. The ones remaining were all tiny and difficult to hit. She did take her time and aim, but all three shots completely missed. She was to end up sharing the loser's crown with Tomotake-san. Exactly. And the foreshadowing about him, uh, all we're all sharing this teddy bear, except for Mion and, uh, and Rika. That means Rika's gonna die, and Mion's gonna go missing. It's symbolism, I say. <laughs> However, she did her little meeping cry in front of the owner, and he tried to mush instantly, he tried to mush instantly. She's gonna pack a gum as a consolation prize. Yes, yeah, it. Manipulate them. Manipulate them all. <laughs> Her methods were a bit audacious, but she did avoid being the loser rather magnificently. Uh huh. The... Come to think of it, Rika Chan is quite the trickster. Uh, technically, everyone in this group kind of is. Well, except for Rina. She like she's like the one reactionary. So. I have no idea what Katie's talking about. This. <laughs> Now then, it's decided that tomotaki san is dead last! And what is his so-called punishment? Being court in the face of the court gun through 50 times in a row? Everyone cheered and applauded. tomotaki san smiled wryly, slightly bewildered. You're gonna fucking die tonight, Tomotake. I, I would suggest running. This is, the, this is where the curse comes to play. So, tomotaki san are you ready? Penalty time! Huh? Oh, I completely forgot about that. You're too naive, tomotaki san This is why you got to avoid losing your club. Mian pulled a felt tip marker from her pocket. Oh, it's that. I have fun with that. I want to see this. I want to see this. Show him some mercy, Mian. At least use a washable marker. A permanent one is too harsh. It just has to be. It just has to be permanent, okay? Water-based marker would come off in the laundry. 
Whoa, whoa, what is this? The laundry? What, you're gonna draw on his shirt or something? Please take it easy on me. All was pinned his arms behind his back, and Mion approached him with a marker in, hand, in one hand. This is torture. Torture! <laughs> the felt pit, the felt tip pen comes closer and closer, ready to strike into the skin. And squip, squip, squip. Michigan Ryan Tomitaki-san's face. She wore the shirt he was wearing. Yeah. What does it say? What does it say? You better have your big break this year. Mion. Rina took up the marker next. Show me your photos next time, okay? Star. Rina. It was a little heartwarming. I just had to laugh. Dang, it's on the shirt. Mm. <laughs> this is more like a farewell card than a penalty. Oh, -ho -ho, I'm, not a, I'm not as soft as the rest. I'll make sure that's a proper penalty. Okay, everyone gets a chance to do it. Haha, <laughs> dead last, Sadako. Dead. Try hard next time, Rika. Get us. And what are you gonna write in the Keichi? Here you go, Keichi-san. I couldn't decide what to write, but based on what kind of penalty this was, this was probably the most appropriate. Come back and play again, Keichi. Tomotaki-san was silent the whole entire time. At first he was quite bewildered, but now he had a different look on his face. So I have to wear this all the way back to Tokyo as part of the penalty? Of course! You better wear it all the way home! Just take a photo and like send in the mail when you're in Tokyo that you still wore it all the way. Don't dare cheat by taking it off and putting something else on or wearing a jacket. Eh. You could wear it when you come back. It could be nice. He appeared deeply moved. Embarrassment mixed with a wealth of other emotions made him turn into a bright red. Understood. I'll wear this next time I come here. I promise. Everyone cheered and applauded. He does wear it next year, but like none of us are around. <laughs> it was the finest parting gift possible for a buddy heading out tonight. I saw the woman who was with Tomotaki-san standing near the festival grounds. It seemed Tomotaki-san noticed her too, and knew it was time to leave. Are you two together, actually? Or, hmm. Seems like your guest is waiting. Isn't it about time? Hmm? Time for what? Yeah, that's certainly how it seems. <laughs> tomotaki san headed off towards her and seemed to apologize for making her wait. Like your date or something? We all shouted stuff at tomotaki san Each time we did, he looked back and waved his hand. Eventually, he fainted to the darkness of the night, out of sight. It was quite the casual farewell. This wasn't the first time any of us had seen someone off. They'd done the same thing many times before. He's gone. Well, it's about time to take off, too. Mika Chan had to stay behind with the other committee members since they were having a meeting. Sadako was tagging along with her. Mm, Sadako, what are you doing? <laughs> I headed back home with the usual suspect. <sighs> Why are you bringing up that? Well, like, the usual suspect is a movie, and, like, uh... I'm not gonna say anything with a twist there, but like, god, that. Yeah! The movie there was great. Ah! Uh, I don't. When was the movie released? God. I know this is like. Well, this was like. This, the original game was released in 2002. No, I need to look it up. I need to look it up. I need to look it up. The usual suspects. I just need to. It was released in 1995. Eh. Well, like, this, that takes place, like. It was made 10 years after this game takes place, but still. The walk back was quite love lively, with talk of the day's war stories. I should have done this, should have done that, that kind of stuff. Hey, look, there's a car. We should have stole that. <laughs> Rhea and I parted away as Mion, you know, just the two of us. The game's put together in the night between dies. Then we got to my house, and I parted away with Rina as well. It's already pretty late. Are you all right by yourself? Yeah, I'm perfectly fine. It's close. I'm gonna run, too. If you run into some weirdo, just yell. If I do shout, will you come and save me? Maybe? Maybe? If I hear you. Not ominous at all. <laughs> Time to go to bed and put my earplugs on to sleep properly. Oh, okay. Halfway down the road, she starts screaming. Is like, I just wanted to see you again. <laughs> okay, I'll scream loud enough so you can hear me. Oh my. That's gonna wake up the entire state. That's gonna wake up the entire prefecture, actually. Merrily spinning her arms around at high speed, Rena dashed off. She was fine. In that mode, not even a dull could stand against her. 
Rena's cheerful presence disappeared and it finally became quiet again. The curse that not a soul mentioned, even under their breath. The more I learned about tonight, the more unsettling it became. Yeah, it's like an, um, uh, a, a, a well-known open secret that no one wants to talk to you about. Nice to see that I'm, uh, they don't want to speak about it all around you. <laughs> they expecting you to die. <laughs> the, the, the town just wants, like, every single newcomer die. They just, no one, none of the actual people they care about is going to get offed. <laughs> eh. It didn't show in any of their faces, but they were all probably all quite concerned about it as well. Yeah, might, might as well spend, like, the last time with one of them, like, at the festival, like, have the most grand old time, right? But nothing happens tonight, and it all ends up being just crazy talk. Nothing will happen. Nothing bad. Nothing at all. What's wrong, Keiichi? Why are you sitting in a place like that? Come inside, you'll catch a cold. That was my mom. Did you go, Mom? To the Wachikanashi Festival? In the end, your father didn't wake up, so I missed it. <sighs> the red flags everywhere. The death flags. A little disappointing. Mom stuck her tongue out with a bit of an embarrassed look in her face. And that's the ending detail for this thing to go off. Mmm. <sighs> mmm. That's the ending detail for this. Oh. Oh boy. Oh my god, that's a lot. Oh my, oh my god. Oh Jesus, that's so much. Oh god, okay. Well, time to go through all this now. <laughs> god. I didn't expect that to be four of them. Oh my god, three of them are like newspapers and one's like, okay, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, starting first off, so this is all about the different deaths we just learned about, so let's go by one by one, starting with the Haoju couple's falling incident. It would help to like... I only got the vague, like, I guess the general overview, so I might be missing some details just from, like, learning it for the first time, hearing it first. From the June 1980 edition. Nope. In the afternoon of blank at 2 p.m., office employee blank and his wife blank of Hinamazawa Village in Shishibone Prefecture disappeared after falling 27 meters from the observatory platform in Shirakawa Prefecture. Hmm. So in a different prefecture when it happened entirely. Hmm. Police and firefighters searched downstream and discovered the body of Blank around 7 p.m. that evening. His wife, Blank, has yet to be found. That was a thing, like, they found, like, they said, like, his wife committed suicide, but at the same time, the Steam page, like, mentioned, like, both a person dies and another person goes missing. Hmm. How's it go with a priest, then? Like, they found her... They, 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 they didn't mention about a body, but they mentioned it was a suicide. They just mentioned a suicide note, actually. Huh. His white blanket is to be found. The search has run into difficulties due to the effects of Typhoon 3 from the previous day. Ah. Uh, it appeared to railing the observatory that the blanks leaned on had broken, causing them to fall. Ooh. The groundskeeping staff was questioned by the police in regards to faculty deteri facility deterioration. That park maintenance was performed properly. Hmm. Ah, that's quick. Hmm. These are actually going to be the terminal illness of Shinto priest. From June 1981 edition, on the afternoon of blank around 10 p.m. in the blank district of Hinamazawa Village in Shishibone Prefecture. The Shinto priest of Furude Shrine passed away after an existing condition he was recovering from suddenly worsened. Parties close to the deceased said he was suffering from anxiety issues concerning the festival, which was to be held that day. Oh, so that's where he, like, that's where Tom Tomotaki san got to all that talk about it, hmm. Also, after Blank's death, his wife Blank went missing, leaving behind a farewell note. Okay, so like, never actually found her body, then. The police and local youth association continue the search. However, given the presence of the farewell message and the fact that the Onigafuchi swamp is said to be bottomless, they have run into difficulties. Hmm. Oh, that connects to him, uh, the I guess the culprit. Like they didn't like they found his car in near the swamp. And they said like they went down the river. So like is the like the I'm assuming that river goes down to the swamp then? So literally the swamp is like where people are going missing? 
like they mentioned like discreet like very clearly in this magazine like this newspaper article like about the swamp even though the priest died somewhere else like they believe they that the the wife just walked the swamp and like killed herself there hmm housewife murder was the terminal illness death of shinto praiser for rude housewife murder these are generally quick huh it wasn't reported in the newspaper whoa okay that's actually that's it housewife murder that wasn't reported in the newspaper that's actually kind of more ominous than not happening not being being reported at all actually oh my radio log The Econom the Ikinomia PS. Hmm. This is Okinomiya Station, calling Unit 3. Unit 3, please respond. Oishi. Or Oishi. I think it's Oishi. This is Unit 3, loud and clear. Backup is heading your way. Hold position until further instructions. Over. Roger. Unit 3 acknowledged. Requesting no headlights. Requesting radio silence. Station, the doctors arrived. They want to carry it away. What's the order? They... The doctor? They want to carry it away? A body? Over. Acknowledge, leave it to the doctor. Affirmative. Understood. Ah, backup has arrived. Should we leave them leave them take a photo first? Let them take a photo first. And then the Vic is done for. The victim. I think the Vict is done for. Is done for? So they thought, like, whoever, like, they found was, like, like, they could be saved, but they couldn't, like, they brought a doctor on. It was a radio log, too. Hmm. Maybe the house of murder that was covered up, or, like, they didn't report on entirely. They didn't find the other bodies, though, unless, like, that's literally part of the town saying literally about... It's like the government, like, trying to, like, get something about, like, trying to make the curse happen because all the... The fights happen with the dam and, like, the protests are gonna happen up. It's like a... It's almost psychological warfare with the, the, the town people. Hmm. Like, could be it? Could be? Hmm. Think. I want to reread re -read through it again just to be sure. Swing radio logs, like I know there's supposed to be phones out there, but like, why are we listening to a radio log or hearing about it here? Okay, now a station. I want to look through this. Okinomiya Station. It'll help me like get more accustomed and like maybe learn a tiny bit more. No. Okinomiya. Station. It's a police station. Oh, okay, so let's go into more. Um, well, obviously, it's going to like, like um, uh, Higurashi, like, like setting locations and all that. So I'm not gonna look into it. But like, it's a police station. So it's like, it's it just this is definitely just like first responder stuff like that. You know, three loud and clear. Okay, this is all police talk actually. Radio logs. Okay. Back is heading your way. Help position for instructions. Over. Roger, Unit 3, acknowledge. Requesting no headlights. Requesting radio silence. The doctor has arrived. They want to carry it away. What's the order? Over. Acknowledge. Leave it to the doctor. Affirmative understood. Backup has arrived. Shouldn't we let them take a photo first? I think the Vic is done for. Yeah, definitely. Whoever they whoever they found was like seemed like on the brink of death. Like enough to make that that comment. Hmm. Is it the housewife murder actually? It's a correlation to that. It must be. But like, wow, we how like this is the second page of it, right? So like, how much like we're not gonna get tip or anything for like the next chapter, or are we only just gonna get one tip for each now? Like this is like chapter. Six, I believe. Let me double check. Just save and load. Just be sure. Save. Yeah, I was in chapter six. So like, we only get one tip for each other chapter. Then, huh? 
that's actually gonna be really interesting. We're actually going down to the more the more I'm uh just the darker aspects of this game. Hmm. I wanna find out more about that and like try to piece together other things like we don't know And still like I'm like I'm still thinking like the next chapter may be like since the, they made it a clear point that someone is going to like it's a whole like ritual like well not a ritual per se like a almost a twisted tradition now that someone dies a curse it's like someone dies and someone else goes missing so i still believe rick is gonna die the head patch thing sadako is nearby so like i feel like she would be the killer let us know, like, mm, the demure comment is throwing me off a tiny bit, though, from the very beginning of the game. Mm. But they are definitely close, and, like, both Neon and Rena both left the, like, the festival grounds and all that. We don't know anything else with the committee members, so, like, it feels like that's the only thing it could be? Oh, he suddenly, like, meet a new person of the committee and all that, or something like that. Hmm. Be interesting to see. Like, the woman's gonna come back at some point, or just, like, she just randomly there, but, like, they definitely making it seem like, like, that woman in Tomatake is, like, re like well acquainted. And maybe that's actually the last time we'll see a Tomatake? Unless, like, Emma, something happened in the way he was leaving the town? But he's probably just gone now, and he's probably gonna appear in a different chapter altogether. Like, there's a chapter one, this whole entire thing. He's probably gonna appear way later on, some way, in some shape or form. Possibly. And I guess the whole friend group is now gonna, like, try to grapple with, I guess, Rika's, you know, death. But, like, who would go missing from the people we know? What if that woman goes missing? And that's actually why, like, Tomotake, like, actually wants to stay. And, like, since he was, like, unofficially, like, I, I said that this is a friend group that's also like having them all be together in a, a way to like actually talk and all that. In a narrative way, though, bring them all together, like keep like you know interacting and like try to figure out what's happening. That actually be an, a, a good way to do that. I feel like that's my prediction. The one's gonna go missing. Uh, Rika's gonna die. All that. Hmm. Because the the beginning prologue definitely makes it clear that I'm uh. The, the narrator there likes giving head pats, Rika, and also that the person killing Rika, like, was a girl. So, yeah. Hmm. Feels like, okay, Satoshi, like, kills Rika. Or, no, Sadako, sorry, not Satoshi, sorry. Then the woman who her name is goes missing for some reason. Unless, is that one actually, like, maybe, like, Rika? Like, Rika's mom, actually? Maybe? Depending. We don't know anything about about that. No, but they have their parents. Like, the only thing we know is, like, I'm up, Katie's parents, and, like, Rena talks, like, seeing them a bit, so there's that. Is that woman? The woman could be Rika's mom, actually. I guess that would make a correlation of, like, someone being missing then, actually. Hmm. The first murder being, like, the, the, the culprit, one, like, the main culprit going missing, the site overseer being killed for it, like, and every single one of those culprits were, like, Related in some way together, and one of them went missing. The rest got arrested. Second one, let me just go back to Ted. Just like I just like sitting here reasoning out loud, just to put it in my head and like continue on. You know, priest like died. The stress, the the festival. I'm trying to think in terms of like if it really is a deity's curse or anything like that. If it wasn't a poisoning attempt or anything like that. It makes sense entirely why the first murder happened, motive wise. And all that we don't know a single thing about the housewife's like homicide though so we have nothing to go on there and like and from the sound of it like the shinto priest like was like really like you know devout so like i don't know if it's the whole thing maybe they did a, a ritual wrong maybe like a ceremony i'm going full down like religious curses stuff like that but i don't know personally wise Huh. That or oh that's oh that god that should be a thing like um uh hmm. If it actually is targeting someone and since Keiichi didn't like say the third thank you, that I'm uh like his whole friend group was being targeted in some way, such like that. Or like someone else did it. Because like the whole comment of the paragraph by the end before it of like like I'm uh 
being like anxious about having murders attend the mind, like that thing, like large scale text that was on screen that's not even part of the text log. It makes it seem like they didn't have like any murders attend beforehand, but they just suddenly did. But then at the same time, like the victim of the opening of the game wasn't exactly too surprised or trust or like it feels like Emma they trusted them they trusted her but like then learn something and like are still rationalizing and justifying themselves but they still do trust them even if they know something bad that's what it feels like that's what it feels just from how it's written and you know spoken and narrated and all that what's well, my final theory okay the woman goes missing whoever her name is Rika dies Sadako is the killer and don't know how anything continues on from that. The story seems very more simplistic, narratively speaking, unless there's like many more layers and they're actually gonna continue on with them. Uh, the government thing is a red herring of the, the, the dam construction being there. It's really just an overseeing thing, but like I can definitely see them being brought up like it gets another layer. That's probably gonna go more into by the end of there, especially with that radio log of the police. Like, yeah, mostly, mostly likely it. Yeah, that's it. That's probably it. But I guess we'll see if that's ever right. Hmm. My brain is going to overdrive about this. Yeah, I'm actually really enjoying this so far. Just the whole thing afterwards. Like, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh. Someone's, like, unless, like, unless I'm, uh... There's definitely a set next episode is all about, I guess, like, the, the... Like, I guess the aftermath of, like, whoever goes missing and dies and all that. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. I, the next episode is going to be quite in it for sure. If, like, no one dies there, then, like, hmm. Then the curse is offset a bit, but, like, someone is definitely going to go missing and dead. There's also that. Plus the whole thing of the whole friend group of, like, not bringing up the curse at all to Keiichi. I try to, like, you know, forget it ever happened. That's an interesting dynamic there, too. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm really excited. But I guess we'll see how that all goes down for next time. So, hope you have a fun time watching as I am playing this. Hope you see me next time, what time may be. And I'll hope you a fantastic day.